image to a blog post just like the one that you see here without having to open heavy programs like Photoshop and as you can see on this page this is an image that we created using the plugin and all of this is just a quote that will accompany uh, the message or the po blog post that we're writing about to make it stronger and, and because the image is in the blog post when it gets shared it has a tendency to get picked up and we all know that images tend to be shared a whole lot more on uh, social media than plain text so let's take a look at how this plugin works we're gonna go uh, into the dashboard right now and I have the plugin already installed and once it's installed we will have a new link here under settings called instant social image on the screen you will be able to set up the defaults that you want now don't worry these are just defaults so that you can get creating images very quickly without having to think about any other option now these settings can be overwritten when you create an image so these are the settings that I have set up uh, the plugin comes with four images that uh, background images that you can use of course you can upload your very own as the main image now uh, I have already uploaded some in the past so let me take very quickly show you if I save changes then this image will always be used uh, when I create an image now I don't want to use that right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it and save changes so to create an image all I need to do is just go to all posts and let's say I want to create uh, an image for this post of course you can do it on pages as well and you can do this on brand new posts it doesn't have to be a post that you you edit and first thing I need to do is just place my cursor where I want it to and click on this button create social image now I want to show you how quickly to create an image that's why I'm not going to go through all these settings again and I'm basically going to paste a quote right here now this quote is not from the blog post it would be more effective if you have written a blog post and you pick out key uh, items that you want to quote and put it in here to make an image but just to show you I'm just going to very quickly create image right now and there you are we have the image already created and if I'm happy with it I can just click this insert into editor and right there it's inserted in my post and I can save it update publish it and it will appear immediately into my post how cool is that very quick very simple now assuming that I do not like this image um, I can repeat the process again and I'm gonna go ahead and click create social image this time I'm gonna upload a brand new image background image that I want to use right now and I'm gonna drag and drop a brand new background image and I'm just gonna use that click that to use it uh, and I'm gonna paste my text here again the quote that I want to add and maybe this time around I want to change the fonts a little bit I want to change to the lobster font and I might want to change the color of my main quote text uh, maybe I wanted something towards the bluish or that color I can also change the sizing of it uh, maybe I'll make it 25 uh, pixels in size and line break I'll show you very shortly what a line break looks like I can in the previous image we have middle aligned it but we can also change to top align it or bottom align it let's let me just go ahead and show that to you and a branding by default this will pick up your domain name of the, of the site that you install the plugin in but maybe right now I do not want to have a domain name I will just want to put my name in it and I'll leave the branding text options as it is and I can also align it differently so let me create this image to show you how it looks like and there you are very nice image now sometimes as you can see here my quote here is pretty long and I do want the text here to stretch a little further what I can do is I go ahead and click delete image and all the settings from before have been saved and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the line break uh, at 35 characters so I'll click create image 
and now the text is actually stretched further across the uh, image, uh, making better use of this image. And of course, if you're still not happy with this image, you can go back and click delete image and maybe you can play around with making this one a little larger and bringing down the uh, line break to uh, 30. You can keep playing around with it, uh, bottom line this time and uh, maybe we'll change this one over to something uh, light like that. Um, and we change the alignment of that and we click create image. And now as you can see my branding is not that apparent anymore and I do not like that so I can delete image again and uh, maybe go back to a dark well, gray and I did not like it to be bottom line I want it middle line and click create image again and okay let's assume that I'm really happy with this image right now all I can just do is click insert to editor and uh, update my post and I can view it right here in my post. The nice thing about this plugin also is that all the images that you create using it is available in your media library. So if you ever feel that you want to reuse these images, this is the image that I just created, this is the image that I created before that, and these are all the images I had created before uh, this demo video, uh, you can always come back and reuse these images in any of your posts uh, in your website. Well, I hope you like what you see and grab a copy for yourself.